Hey everybody, thanks for stopping by. Quick pro tip on uh, engraving softballs, baseballs, or anything really where you're kind of pushing the limits of the lens on this uh, 15 watt UV. This is a 210 lens. And when I engraved this, uh, the 500 strikeout and the date was fine. But the location, Battle Mountain, was a little bit faint. And so the beautiful thing about, uh, you know, knowing what you can do in Lightburn saved this project. So I knew that I was okay on the 500 strikeout and the date, but I needed to uh, run uh, several more passes over Battle Mountain. Well, because this is was just a bunch of text, just remember that you can go ahead and, uh, you know, highlight this as a text string and come up here and go to edit and convert to path. Now, I've already done that, but what that does is that converts your text uh, to just a bunch of lines. And now you have the ability to go ahead and select just exactly what you need to run or rerun. And so I did this, um, I ran this three more passes and it got nice and dark, except this BAT right here was very light. And so again, the beautiful thing about converting this text to a path is you have the ability to just select just exactly what you want to go ahead and rerun this portion of your design a couple more times on your Galvo. And before you know it, you've got a design that's presentable and uh, it works well. So just remember when you're working on something that's not quite flat and um, some of your design has fallen off and it's not as dark or as good as you want it to, don't be afraid to fragment your design and rerun that part of your design uh, to darken it up and 95% of the time you're going to be in pretty good shape. Just remember you don't want to move this at all. You just want to handle that in fragmenting your design into light burn. Pick what you need to rerun a number of times. That way you don't get this part too dark and this part uh, not dark enough. And I've found that on several uh, occasions with the projects that I'm doing on this UV it really works out pretty well. So don't remember, or excuse me, don't forget that if you do, uh, you know, if you just convert this text to a path, then you can go letter by letter if you have to, or you can select any part of your design if it's textual and break it out, run just that section, number of passes, and away you go. Hope this helps. Have a great day, everybody.